Hi, I'd like to return to this part and now just make it a slightly different way. And in this case, I'm going to make a uh, one, two, three, four, uh, a four by four rectangle uh, and extrude it out a distance of two. But I'm going to extrude out it. I'm going to extrude it before I make this rounded piece on it. So I'm going to sketch onto the front plane. I'm going to draw myself my square. In this case, I'm going to stay in the three dimensions just to do a variation on a theme. I am going to change this dimension to four, refit my screen here, and I'll say that I'm done. I'll extrude out the distance, a distance of two, and I'll say that I'm done. Uh, let me look at it in the isometric view. So that's about right, and I'm going to turn off my planes so I don't have to see that additional G the G additional information. I'm going to turn off my uh, my spin center as well, so we can see what we're doing here. Now what I want to do is I want to sketch onto this surface. I'm going to purposely stay in three dimensions here, because now what I want to do is I want to put a circle. I'm just going to put a circle just generally in here somewhere. And now I'm going to use constraints to specify the location and the extent of this circle. So I'm going to utilize the coincident constraint to select the center of the circle, and I could select this edge, but the, selecting this edge is also this surface because I'm telling the circle, the center of the circle, I want it to be coincident to this face. I'll say, okay, now the next one I want to utilize is the tangent. I want to make this circle tangent to the top face of the cube or the, the part that I've already made its feature. And again, I'm still in the tangent command, so I'm going to make this circle again tangent to the bottom edge and I'll say OK. And once I've done there, I could trim out now if I want to, but I can also just extrude all the way through. Either way will work. So what I'm going to do is I will say that I'm done and I'm going to extrude. I'm going to flip the direction and I'm going to go through a distance, but I want to get some design intent here, so instead of going through a particular distance, I'm going to extrude out to a given surface, which is this back surface here, and I'll say OK. All right, so that's created these two parts, or the two features of this part. Now I want to put in the circular hole, so again I'm going to sketch onto this surface. Now the sketch I'm going to utilize is a um, concentric circle. So I'm just going to select this circular edge that allows me to create a circle. Notice it created the reference geometry there. And, and one thing about being in a circle tool is I'm still in here until I select, say, that tool to get out of it. And I'll make my diameter 2. I'll say that I'm done. And I'm going to extrude, flip the direction. And again, I want to go all the way through till I get to a certain face, which is this one over here. And I want to make sure that I remove the material. And I better put my spin center back on because I'm spinning all over the place here. And I'll say that I'm done. And there's my part. Okay, let me see where time we are here. So we're at 3 minutes and 46 seconds, so I better hurry up here. So now, again, let me just change the variation a little bit for what I want to do for this back face here. So I'm going to sketch onto this face and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a rectangle again into sort of space here and I'm going to utilize the coincident constraint again I make extensive use of it here and I'm selecting this line and that line this edge of the square and this face being the line and the faces being the same thing and this and this face and again I just have a single dimension that's driving it this is going to be two. And notice when I make these coincident selections that I actually end up getting my reference lines. So I'll say that I'm done. I'll extrude it, flip the direction, and make the dimension two. Say that I'm done. And let me throw it into isometric view. Alrighty. And that finishes that one.